Welcome everyone to Armored Academy, in this video we will be discussing BWE which stands for Basic Erosive Wear Examination. It was first introduced by David Barlett of King's College London in 2008 to assess, monitor and manage tooth wear. In this channel, we have covered types and causes of tooth wear in a separate video which you can access by clicking on the top right hand corner or using the link in the description section. When recording a BWE score, like your BPE scores, Third molars are excluded and teeth divided into sextants, each given a score. Within each sextant the worst affected tooth dictates the score. The scores range from 0 to 3. 0 means no evidence of tooth surface loss. 1 means there is initial loss of surface texture. 2 means that the tooth is showing distinct defects, hard tissue loss affecting less than 50% of the tooth surface area. 3 means that the hard tissue loss is affecting 50% or more of the tooth surface area. So looking at each sextant, every tooth is assessed individually and given a score. The highest score within the sextant is the overall score for the sextant. Then appropriate management is indicated by the cumulative score of all sextants. A total score of 0 to 2 is considered minimal risk, so routine maintenance and observation is indicated with repeat at 3-year intervals. Whereas a total score of 3 to 8 is considered low risk, oral hygiene and dietary assessment, and advice, routine maintenance and observation at 2 year intervals is indicated. However 9 to 13 is indicative of medium risk, in order to manage this, oral hygiene and dietary assessment, followed by advice, specifically identifying the main etiological factors for tissue loss and develop strategies to eliminate respective impacts. Etiological factors can be oral hygiene or dietary habits that are having a significant impact on the rate of tooth tissue loss for a patient. For example, high consumption of carbonated drinks. You would also want to consider measures, such as high fluoride concentration toothpaste or mouthwash to increase the resistance of tooth surfaces. Ideally, avoid the placement of restorations because the remaining tooth tissue around your restorations are still at an increased risk of erosion, ultimately nullifying your restorations. But most importantly you'd want to monitor tooth surface loss with study casts, photographs, or silicone impressions and repeat at 6 to 12 month intervals. For patients scoring 14 or above, they are considered high risk. To manage this patient you implement the same measures as for someone in the medium risk category, but you consider placing restorations to restore tooth function and referral to a specialist for further rehabilitation. In summary BWE is a screening tool that allows you to assess and monitor tooth surface loss by assigning patients into risk categories and then implementing management strategies accordingly. I hope this video was helpful, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below and consider subscribing for more videos like this.